Guys, it's your old pal, Brian. Garden side. Oh. Of our flat. Let's discuss final thoughts, Great Britain, England specifically, this time. And, uh, Just some fun observations. Weather. Uh, April, 50% of the time we've had sun. Today's actually been a sunny day. Um, people. The people have been actually wonderful. Sikhs, Muslims, Asians, Malaysians, um, indigenous Englanders. Everybody's been great. Contrary to popular belief, um, when I set foot here I was told on more than one occasion, excuse me, <coughs> in a tube deep, that I was going to be murdered and uh, they'd never find my body. But that's not true. Uh, people have actually been wonderful and they're polite as a whole here. Um, from the tube to the bus to the train, everybody's been great. Um, yeah. killer suitcases and traffic. Um, I talked about this before. When my wife and I got off, uh, walk, got out of the airport, we hadn't been on the escalator five minutes, but a uh, uh, mid-twenties, beautiful um, <laughs> Londonite had her, uh, had her carry-on bag on the stairs and was playing with her phone and wasn't paying attention to it as we were going up. She uh, let that thing loose just like a bowling ball, it came down, hit my wife, knocked her over, and then she knocked me over um, backwards. The, the saving grace was both of us had these giant backpacks on, and we didn't hit our head or really didn't get a scratch. So, uh, yeah, that was about the worst situation that could happen. Came real close to having another bad situation. Um, and I did a little video on this. We're walking through traffic, and man, oh, man. The uh, little seven-year-old boy who was walking with his parents um, took off and darted out in an intersection. And the way it works here is, is pedestrians don't have the right-of-way. In America, pedestrians have the right-of-way. Here they don't. And it annoyed me for a couple of days, and I got to thinking about it. If you let pedestrians, because this is a pedestrian city, if you let pedestrians have the right-of-way, you can't move any vehicle traffic. I mean, none. So, in short, it, it's your responsibility, human, to look out for the big machines that are moving around. Well, Junior took off, cut across traffic, narrowly missing getting killed, and then when the parents screamed and freaked out after he got onto the other side, he naturally wanted to come back to them. And if my wife wouldn't have grabbed his little, he had a costume on, a bear costume, if my wife would not have grabbed him by his bear costume hat, and held on to him. He would have ran out in front of a bus and got murdered. So you might think these two incidents were awful, but my mind works backwards. My wife and I were not hurt on the escalator. The London, the Londoner was uh, embarrassed that she had let her suitcase loose and had been so un un unattentive. And had that little boy got himself killed, and I mean for real, he almost got himself killed, it would have put a blight on our trip to watch, you know, a, a, a child murdered by a bus. So, yeah, that was crazy. Did talk about the uh, tube train and buses. Clean, efficient, on time. Holy moly. Um, interesting. We were out on the highways with tour groups and in all kinds of weather, no traffic accidents. In fact, the entire time I'm here, I haven't seen a traffic accident. I found out that they're evaluated every two years for their driving. I don't know if that's it or what the deal is, but no traffic accidents. Yeah, my wife planned this trip a year out, and she researched it. And... We didn't find that there were any travel advisories here for the, from the State Department. So 
there again, I mean, I know it's negative bias. That's how humans are. They, they want to think negatively. And when I was telling people I wanted to go to Europe, they're like, oh, you're going to die. Yeah, for sure. It was nice knowing you, but you're a dead man. Yeah, no. <laughs> My wife planned the trip a year out, and uh, she did research, and she's on groups, just like we are on radio control groups. And that's just not what, that's not the, uh, listen, if you're getting all your information from mainstream media, yeah, need I say more. Bathrooms, there aren't any. And the ones that there are, are 20 pence coins. Some of them take a card, but there's no public restrooms. And the ones that do exist, uh, they charge you, which is fine. Oh, no public trash cans to speak of. Now, around the palaces, uh, they want to make certain that they're clean. But, uh, yeah, um, no, no trash cans in the street. Um, you just set your bags out at a, at a certain point, and uh, they come, <coughs> excuse me, and they come and get them. Yeah, we've had a lovely stay here. Uh, it's just a slice, you know, 11 days. But uh, I felt a whole lot less confident walking around Philadelphia, a whole lot, than I did here in London. Thanks for hanging out with me. See ya.